Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So today I'm in Big National Park and the reason why I came here is because I wanted to go camping in this behind me. I finally got my rooftop tent and my roof rack and it took two long days for me to install by myself trying to get help here and there to get it done. But finally it's done. I did film, film a little bit of video when I was setting up but then completely gave up on that because it required my full attention to assemble the tent and that was my main focus so today I'm taking it out and I'm gonna go camping with it I'm excited and you know I was hoping that I would camp a bit earlier in the summer it was supposed to come August 14 around that time but it took till end of September to arrive but that's fine at least I get a little a couple of camping trips out of it hopefully before it gets way too cold it's already kind of cold already but now it being fall and everything it should be kind of cool to go out camping a little bit and take some fall pictures so I've decided to come to Big National Park because I've always wanted to come here I've never been and it seems like a good occasion just as I need to come here explore it and take some photographs I have no idea what to expect though I'm kind of winging it but it should be fun so right now I'm gonna go set up the tent my sleeping bed which is gonna be nice and then I'm gonna go walk around explore a little bit try to photograph something for sunset which is gonna be in about maybe two hours I have plenty of time but then again I have no idea this park it sits on the San Lawrence River so there's a lot of bays and coves on the water and shorelines so it should be kind of cool to explore so I look forward to that so we'll see let me go get the tent set up So I got my tent set up and I just grabbed my bag and I'm headed out to this bay that's not very far from my campsite. It's called the uh, Bay de Haha. It's kind of funny that it's very funny that it's called that. So I'm just going there to explore a little bit, try to see if I can get a picture here for sunset but it doesn't look like sunset's really happening today because it's kind of overcast so there's not much for color I think but either way I'm just gonna location scout it for tomorrow I think this is a good sunset spot but I'm gonna get up early and come here to this bay in, at sunrise and see how it looks what's nice about this spot is you get a lot of ever-changing tides so the tide comes in that comes out so even though you're in the same area you're gonna get different conditions every time so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick to this trip I'm here for three days I'm gonna stick to getting pictures of the shoreline just with some water with some foreground and just try to get different compositions every time from the same location because if it is ever-changing I should see stuff every time so gotta get set up try to find something to take a picture of just got here to the shoreline and it seems like this is low tide right now apparently the water does go up all the way up to here and now it's way up there so there's a vast emptiness so I quite don't know what to photograph here it looks nice but there I don't see any foreground interest so I'm just gonna explore today I don't think I might even take out my camera or tripod unless I find something to photograph but like I said I'm here a couple of days so give me the chance to explore properly no need to rush to get photos only time I'm gonna actually take out my camera and tripod is when I see something worth photographing we'll see I'm just gonna walk around the bay here just look around see what I find so I'll do that right now feel like all these 
textures at low tide is interesting to photograph but it's also very dirty and messy because it's kind of the floor a lot of leaves and, and wood and stuff so it, it makes for a photoshopping nightmare I think and it's not quite pretty if I can find a nice clean patch that might be worth photographing I don't know I'm just gonna walk around see what I find here it's gotta be something Right now, I'm just kind of walking towards this nice patch right here. See what it looks like in my foreground. Because that could be nice to photograph. Right now, it's not the best. I would have liked to have some water around. But not happening. It's, the tide is way too low. This looks kind of nice. Look at that. So this kind of looks like a good spot for pictures. A nice foreground and if the tide is a bit higher this would be nice to get some water around it try to get some pictures with that so I'll come back here do some research and check what time is best to get some photos no need to rush I think I'm gonna head back to the campsite now that I checked this out and got a fire going and warm up because it's a bit chilly and tomorrow morning I'll get up early and come try to get a picture here at sunrise now that I've seen it and see what that looks like and then during the day tomorrow I'll do some more scouting at other locations for for sunset so that's the plan for now can I get back to the campsite make a fire and warm up and see you tomorrow Hey everyone, so I'm gonna take this opportunity being right here on this lookout to summarize a little bit what happened as of today, which is the next day. To be honest, I kind of snoozed this morning. I was supposed to get up for sunrise, but I decided to sleep and it was just so warm and comfortable inside that tent that I didn't want to get out. But when I got up and got out, it was pretty much overcast every, all day. It was supposed to be sunny and for some reason it's just been overcast. I didn't even see the sun today. But I still went out on a trail. I'm just right now. I'm sort of mid hike. You know, I decided to stop here specifically because it gives me a nice vantage point and explain that um, what I'm planning to do. I'm gonna continue on this hike towards this way, which loops around the uh, the water here. This is pretty much the San Lawrence River there that you see behind me and pretty much looping around it sticking to the shoreline sticking to the water but so far I actually took two pictures here I quite like those pictures I actually I quite like them even though it's um, overcast I'm still you know I enjoy taking those pictures I didn't talk about them I didn't film any video during those shots because just there was way too many people but I'm gonna put those pictures right here this is the first one and the second one that I shot I both love them right away The second one, this is where the peak that you see across, this is where I'm standing right now. Uh, pretty much. And I'm gonna continue on this hike this way and heads back to campsite that way. It's a little bit longer shortcut, but if I find something on the way, I'm about two hours away from sunset, so I'm gonna see what I can get and try to get some pictures there. I am hoping that tomorrow morning or throughout the day it's gonna be sunny tomorrow's kind of Sunday and I'm heading back to Montreal on Monday so I have pretty much a full day here left so we'll see what I can get but if I don't get any pictures here if it's just that two pictures I shot I'm happy with them and we'll see maybe I'll get one more picture today at sunset if if it looks nice enough if I find something interesting We'll see. What a what a location man. Just look at that. Look at these peaks. I love them. Crazy. 
and I'll definitely come back here because it's such a beautiful location and this is a little bit tricky I gotta climb over this to get to the trail but what a location man all right I'm gonna put down the camera so I can do this without breaking the camera you know don't want to lose anything all right I'll be back Well, I made it. I survived that crossing. And I think here, in this part of this trail, if it's high tide, you can't be able to cross because all this that I'm walking on now, it's pretty much when at high tide, it would be underwater. So I made sure I checked my tide table to make sure I don't get stuck out here. So that's definitely very, very good. All right, continue on the trail. I think now it's just, pretty much just walk around loop around the beach before I get to my location to my campsite I think it's about five kilometers or so before I head back so it should be fun looking forward to it hopefully I find something to photograph but if not it's okay because I have steak waiting for me I'm gonna grill it on the campfire. It's gonna look really, really nice. All right, see ya. You know when the party starts you're always excited on the hike to go get pictures towards the end when I got to that rocky bit there was this rocky stretch of the coastline <coughs> I was kind of climbing up and down so I put away all the camera gear and I was just focused on getting through that bit and I wasn't even looking to get pictures and right now it is six o'clock and I still have about three kilometers left to get back to the campsite so right now it's all about getting back to camp getting back to the steak cook them if I feel like doing it we'll see so yeah so you know plus it's already six o'clock now and it's sunsets happening right now but it's way overcast there's nothing really so as an ending before I continue on my trail I'm gonna leave you with this view that I have here which is quite nice you know but I just want to get get to camp before it gets dark so let me show you the view. Oh, here we are. As you can see that. <coughs> so here's the view, guys. Pretty nice. Nice view. And I think my camp is somewhere over there in that area. So, gotta get going. Well, it's kind of frustrating that for two days that I've been here, I've had two sunrises, two sunsets, and since I got here, it's been overcast. I haven't had a good sunrise or a good sunset. I've took some pictures, I've hiked, I've camped, I've chilled by the fire. I did everything that I did, but uh, I don't really get some good light for some sunset or sunrise. So I think today is gonna be the day I get a good sunset photo because it's sunny, as you can tell and I got great conditions I got some clouds across the horizon across the view there and I got a little bit of clouds hanging over the the horizon line hopefully it doesn't block the light hopefully some light will still translate into the clouds and as always as my first day that I was here as scouting scouting this location I pretty much had an I you know I realized that it's kind of a bit challenging because the seabed or the riverbed it's kind of very messy there's a lot of seaweed there's a lot of logs it's not a pretty sight i'm gonna try to work around it and see what i can get but i think it's gonna make for a good photo because as i recall when i came here friday i didn't take a picture but 
the the base of the river the sand is still wet and then looking at it it does like a reflect like a mirror so if there's any color in the sky it's gonna reflect it in the seabed which would be nice at low tide and I'm in a bay here so the water goes way out so the whole bay kind of will be just a wet flat mirror so it should be really really nice for photos so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up uh, try to work on my composition and just stick to one composition here I'm not gonna go crazy with taking a lot of pictures I'm gonna try to find the nicest foreground I've kind of stood here next to these green bushes because they look like they're a nice foreground that's what I scouted earlier too on Friday I think this is will help me minimize some of that messiness that's all over this this beach you know and uh, I'll have to work around it so we'll see how that how that goes I think it's gonna look like a nice photo and I still have tomorrow morning but tomorrow morning I pretty much just plan on getting up packing up and heading to Montreal so today is the last day here the last night that I have camping so I need to get one photo at least you know one great photo if I if I'm if I'm you know I'd like to you know There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? So, after much going back and forth trying to figure out a good composition for my picture, I completely ditched the foreground with the seabed and moved in a bit closer to this grassy area here. And I'm filling the, my foreground completely with that and it gives me a nice composition. With that in my foreground, the mountains on the other side, the setting sun, and a little bit of the seabed, but it's far in the distance that it's more manageable. When it comes to the exposed seabed that all that clutter it looks nice in the distance but up close it just didn't look pretty so that works for me i'm just gonna wait i've put a, a two-stop medium edge and defilter and i have a polarizer on these two right now are the only only two filters i have on i'm gonna wait a bit and i might put a six stop do a long exposure with these clouds Maybe that will add something to the image. But uh, even as is, it's quite nice. So I'm gonna take some pictures like that and we'll see how it goes. Just gonna wait it out, keep taking photos. This is not the prettiest. I'm a bit of a hurry here before the slide goes away. So what I'm doing is I put in the six stop and once that sun goes behind the peak it won't be shining on those grasses so I gotta take this quick before I'm doing a 10 second about 10 second f11 ISO 50 with a six stop and D filter and a polarizer and a two stop medium edge and D and that's giving me the picture that I want with a little bit of light still because otherwise this won't work and I've took enough safety pictures without the beforehand so if this doesn't work out I have a picture in the bag but this is fun to experiment a little bit and have fun with it so I'm gonna shoot this before the last of the light goes because pretty much after that this composition won't work so I might just wait it out still for the laughter and see if what the light does but if this is the picture that I get I'm happy with it well, that's how quickly the light comes and goes. So there was only like a couple of seconds and then the light on those grassy area and my foreground is completely gone and now it changed completely the look of it. So I had a few seconds to actually get that picture. Sorry if I was rushing, but I had to move quick to, in order to get a picture. And I think I got one, but the only way to find out is to take it back to the computer and check. 
but uh, do let me know what you guys think of this image which is gonna be on right now and uh, leave me a comment if, uh, if you like it or not